Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta. So we just recently got 11.3.6 and um, I'm just going to go out for a test right now. I'm going to do a residential loop test and we'll see how it goes. It's probably be my first impressions and uh, included into this video as well. So uh, so I heard, I heard a lot of bad things about uh, version 11.3.6 well I heard a little bit of bad things about .3.4 and we've experienced it as well in our last video uh, surprisingly like the first few drives in .3.4 were not terrible like they were really good and uh, 3.6 uh, well I guess 3.4 last few drives like the one uh, the recent video that I posted uh, just a few days ago it was um, acting up a little bit so I wonder if there's some spillover whenever there's a new update like 3.6 spilling over back to uh, folks who have 3.4 uh, we're slowing down here to a 40 kilometer speed zone um, I know that this is this is an error uh, probably in the map data so this this speed uh, this street over here is probably 50 and everyone does 50 so uh, let's see how it does here on this turn and this uh, four-way stop or three-way stop sign very typical behavior here hogging a little bit uh, closer to the center of the street goes down to a zero and then immediately starts taking off yeah not too bad no not much difference to be honest switching lanes over here changing lanes to follow route because we're going to be doing this turn coming up over here let's see if we get the signal signaling very nicely and then turning into the lane not too bad so it is around lunchtime right now and I'm doing this test so let's see how it does with this waits until everyone is clear from the intersection and then does the turn very nicely not too shabby at all very good and if you folks haven't done yet please hit the like button on my video and please subscribe to my channel It'll help me a lot coming up to the yield over here and it's coming to a complete stop almost a complete stop and then accelerating through second yield at this intersection over here as well comes to a complete stop and then a little bit of hesitancy and creeping forward for visibility same sort of issues that we have from uh, the previous versions all right let's put in our second destination and uh, and then we'll see how it goes okay so we're coming up to this turn over here this car is always parked at this curved road and it always comes very close to it all right still does that very weird maneuver in a residential road where it goes to the side where behind parked cars and starts to drive up close let's see if the situation over here where we have a FedEx on our left hand side it's being very cautious and then speeding through the intersection again okay that's that was really good I wonder if uh, it was able to pick up that there was nothing behind that uh, FedEx van because it was a big um, uh, occlusion I guess to the to the left hand side visibility pretty smooth so far let's see the positioning on, on this intersection over here I really would like it to position itself closer to the center line since we are taking a left turn and yeah and we can see that on the visualization it's very very well done very good positioning and uh, this is one of the things that got fixed in version 11 so I'm very glad about that we've got the green light coming up slow takeoff transitioning to a nice smooth turn slow takeoff over here at this traffic light Not too bad though. 
slight pause over there. Handle that car turning into our lane very nicely. It didn't really slam on the brakes or anything, so I'm happy for that. Should be coming up to this left turn over here, over here, the left turning lane. So this is an unprotected left situation. We've got cars coming up right ahead and you can see that on the visualization. They are highlighted in blue. And if we twist the screen a little bit, we can see it's still highlighted in blue and then it's a nice slow takeoff and a very smooth maneuver to do this left turn over here. Very nicely handled. Very happy with that unprotected left. Positioning over here is very nice and ideal. We have on the visualization a yellow center lane, but it actually does not exist on the main road or in the in reality. So uh, very nice. We've come. We're coming up to a hump over here. There's zero slowdown for this. I'm not happy with that. Harsh break over here. It does see an obstacle, a trailer connected to a car over there. It shows it in the visualization as a cloud we're approaching another hump over here and it's not going to slow down for this aye, aye, aye. and we're slowing out slowing down for this right turn over here let's see if we still have that uh, very annoying behavior where it stands on the brakes for this turn yeah and it does go to a complete stop for this turn and I'm not really sure why it does that all right, so let's uh, put in our last destination and we'll see if our car will do a U-turn. It's going a little bit slow, but it's saying unable to complete maneuver. Yeah, and it's coming to a complete stop. I'm going to tap on the accelerator just a little bit to see what it's going to do. Nothing. Oh, it does pop some sort of a fish, a tentacle over here. Let's see if I tap a little bit more. Oh, wow. And it's actually doing this for the first time. Oh, man. We did get the red steering wheel. Hopefully, I didn't get dinged for that. That was interesting. I haven't, I haven't seen that uh, tentacle uh, show me a U-turn there for a long time at this cul-de-sac. So we have these bushes on the left-hand side, which it kind of, in the last version, dot .3.4 was very, very careful with it. And it's creeping for visibility, as we can see over here. And I love that it's doing that. It gives me confidence that it does drive very well and in a safe manner. Coming up over here to this yield. Does got, come for a complete stop, unfortunately. And it does this uh, second check and for visibility as it's committing to a turn, which is not very nice. And we're jumping on the hump again. And we're coming up to a stop over here. This is an unprotected left in a very cross, a uh, high speed cross street. Unfortunately, we don't have really much cars on the left and the right hand side, but it does do the turn and the maneuver very nicely. Changes lanes immediately just to complete this uh, maneuver coming up next over here. So far, I think uh, we haven't really done any intervention, so I'm very glad for that. I'm just uh, around that U-turn in the cul-de-sac where I was trying to get it to do a U-turn. That's the only place where it disengaged and gave me the red steering wheel. Coming into this yield. So there's no cars behind me, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see how it does this. Yeah, it's coming to a stop here. Let's see how it does this. Yeah, I'm gonna take over because I'm confusing the car behind me, so that was a disengagement. FSD beta not completing a yield properly Therefore, I disengaged and merged into the street, sending that uh, that voice note over there. 
hopefully they get that fixed and engaging back again FSD beta. So yeah, similar behavior to dot three dot four. I guess eleven dot three dot four. They're pumping out these updates very quick these days. So um, it was just a week I think that I had three dot four, and now we've got three dot six. So very nice. I'm very happy that they're doing that and they're uh, coming up with updates very quickly right now. Quick turnaround from FSD beta team, and uh, kudos to them. Hopefully they get uh, some more of these small issues fixed. We are coming up to a situation over here where there's a, a service vehicle right in front of us. Let's see how it's going to behave. It does change lanes last minute over here. Ooh, and it slams on the brakes, so I'm going to I'm going to tap on the accelerator there, and it took it a while to to go back to that. So yeah, that going on an inter is like changing lanes in an intersection that is the wrong way of driving. That's literally you are not supposed to do that. So that is a mistake by FSD Beta. I wish I could intervene, but I was very curious to see what would have happened. And it did actually change signal, uh, turn on the signal and change lanes right at the entrance of the intersection, which is, I guess it's okay for, you know, a, a, a full on robo taxi. Nice, nice checking for visibility there for that yield. Um, it's off lately. It's been really messing up that, uh, that yield and, uh, merge into the perpendicular street over there on that right turn glad that's fixed now coming up to the stop sign over here let's see how it's going to deal with this there is a car coming in from the left hand side and we can see it over there it's just stopped for the sign and continued on and that car was turning right so it pretty much did that instantly there we go okay so not not much of a big update i am going to take this and, and test it out in downtown as well very shortly so stay tuned for that as well and uh hope you folks like this video and please hit like and subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot and follow me on twitter i'm on at cold uh, on twitter so thank you very much for watching and uh, let's see how it does with this last stop sign coming up over here and then i'll uh, i'll turn off the uh, and I'll sign out over here. Approaching the stop sign over here. So there's a stop sign on this side of the road and there's a one on the other side. And it spotted that FedEx van again and slowed down. Now that it's clear, it's committing and a very nice smooth transition for this turn. This turn is a little bit tricky or this intersection just because of the, the way the hill or the elevation is going. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Very good. So one disengagement and uh, I think one intervention for that service car for the road uh, at that intersection. So hope you folks like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.